Welcome to Dark Horizon Creations. I'm Mike, and this time we're taking a look at the Batman Batmobile by Spin Master. Now, if you hadn't already, please follow, like, and subscribe to my social media accounts on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get a notification of when I post new content. Well, I don't know about anybody else, but I'm super excited for the new Batman movie. It's about to debut on March the 4th here in the U.S. And to kick things off with the collectible craze, we have the new Batmobile by Spin Master, complete with electronic lights and sounds. This is perhaps the most unique iteration of the Batmobile that I have ever seen. When I first saw images of this car roughly a year and a half ago, I was less than enthusiastic about the design of the new Batmobile. I think it was more the exposed engine than anything else that I didn't care for because I still don't like that feature. But overall, it's a really awesome looking car. I do like the design. I like the fact that it's a regular car that he can drive in and out of traffic and really not be noticed until the last minute when he kicks in the turbochargers on this car. The other feature about this car that I like is the fact that it's got the ability to ram other vehicles. He seems to have built some sort of ram on the front of the car. Now, when you look at this vehicle, it's not quite clear what it's based off of. And I haven't found an official publication yet detailing what they used to build this car. Some have speculated that it's a 1970 Plymouth Barracuda. Others have said it's a Dodge Charger with a Camaro front end. I don't think anybody really knows. And I think in the movie, we're going to find out that it's probably a kit bash that he used parts off of different cars to build the Batmobile. The engine is mid-mounted and it appears to be either a very large V8 or a V10 engine with that turbo booster on it. You can also see there's step tubes on the Batmobile. I've seen images from the movie where it looks like it's sitting higher on the suspension. And then I've seen other images behind the scenes where it's sitting low to the ground as it is here. So I don't know if he has the ability to adjust the suspension on the car or not. Still, it's a really cool design. It does include the one four inch scale Batman figure with this set. Now there is an exclusive box set with a redeco Batmobile. It has mud splattered on it and it includes three figures also with mud splattered on them. The Batman, Selena Kyle, and the Penguin. I passed on that set just because of the, the redeco. You can see the Batman logo down at the lower left and then some obligatory product shots around the packaging. Turn it around and you have more obligatory product shots and you have some images there of the play features included on the vehicle. And one other thing I wanna point out before I remove it from the box, this is the first time that I recall that we've gotten a Batmobile since the 1989 Batmobile, if I'm not mistaken that is a two-seater. This car will actually seat two action figures. And I had the original 89 Batmobile and it would seat two action figures inside of it. And I think those were five inch scale figures. And the ones after that, all the way through the Dark Knight and the Justice League, they were all single seat Batmobiles. So that's another really cool feature that I like about this car. It has opening and closing doors on it and two seats where you can put two figures in it. And here it is out of the box. Man, this is an awesome looking toy. And it's really heavy too. It's got some weight behind it. Really, really cool. Before I begin, on the inside of the display box is an instruction sheet. And if you open it up, it will explain in more languages than I can recognize how this thing operates, what you do with it. I think I can figure that part out. Let's take a look at the Batman. I did not realize he included a cape. It was stuffed in the back of the display box. That's really cool. A lot of nice detailing there. You can see that the bat suit is armored. It's a dark, dark gray with black accents. Really cool all the way around. Plasticky type fabric cape. Thigh holster for the grapple gun, I do believe. He's got some dark looking things on his gauntlet. I don't know what those are for. As far as articulation, the head will pivot left and right. And it won't move up and down. Forward and lateral movement at the shoulder. No bicep rotation. Elbow swivel. 
single joint and elbow, wrist swivel, and no waist swivel, forward and lateral movement at thigh, thigh rotation, single jointed knee, lower leg rotation, and I think his feet do pivot. Let's see. No. I don't appear to. I think they're just molded in place. Nonetheless, still a really cool action figure. All right, let's talk about the car. Enough about the bat. The car is 14 inches long, 6 inches wide, and right at 4 inches tall. And as you can see, this thing is awesome. It's unreal. It has opening and closing doors on both sides. Full interior. You've got seats, moving steering wheel, all the displays and controls and gadgets that he's put in here. All of those are included. Really cool. All the way around. Here you can see the engine. These do not light up. This one does. You flip the car over on the bottom you can see the switch and where it's at now is in try me mode and the center turns it off that turns it on removable panel takes three triple a batteries you can see when you do that headlights light up as well as interior compartment there i don't know if this car has got two engines or not i guess we'll find out so you got a couple ways to make the lights and sounds work. The first is this button here on the back of the engine. I have no idea what that is. You can do that or you can put it down. And it makes sound effects when you roll it. That's cool. I like that. And the tires are rubber. They are not plastic. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Okay, maybe it's through cycling through all of them. And you can get bats on the inside where he can drive his car. That is worth $30, ladies and gentlemen. That is awesome. If you don't have this in your collection, you need to order it today. The Batman Batmobile by Spin Master.